about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of Psalms chapter 31. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to do to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us, Father. Give us wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and discernment about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the Spirit, there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, and or listening to, just show us that person, Father God. And we thank you for them. And we pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you. We pray against any and all attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray that you give us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world, godly and divine wisdom, knowledge, and discernment, to make the right choices and decisions today. Father God, not only for the betterment of us, but others as well. And we thank you for that, Father God. We pray that you guard and protect us and our vehicles, our loved ones and their vehicles, our leaders and their vehicles, and the animals as well. So we're traveling to and from different locations. Just drive for us today, Father God, and send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today and send down our guardian angels to protect us and we thank you for them and we pray psalm 51 and 91 over us our loved ones our leaders others and the world and um, pray the blood of jesus over us as well and we pray for the safety of our cities and the people in them we pray that you show mercy on us and heal our land we come to you in repentance, Father God, and ask that you forgive us of each and every sin, whether it be in word, thought, and or deed, that we've committed against you, others, and or ourselves, as we forgive those who sinned against us. We pray for our enemies and all our loved ones who have not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior and would like to do so now. We pray John three sixteen over you. For God so loved the world, that he sent his one and only begotten son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works, so that no man shall boast, and there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world so that any of um, anybody that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior will get to go to heaven. And so, Father God, we thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior today. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you. To get into prayer with you each and every day, that's just like what we're doing now. Talking to you, listening for your voice, and obeying what you tell us to do. And help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. So they can discern between the truth and the lies and the truth will set them free. And show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. It's a God divine appointment that you're here today. God brought you to this channel because he loves you so much that he sent his one and only begotten son to die for your sins. That's how much he loves you. Thank you, God, for this person and everyone listening. 
Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of Psalms, chapter 31. So if you have your Bibles and you like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of Psalms, chapter 31, and we'll get started. Thank you. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities and hast not shut up me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine inequity and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors and a fear to mine acquaintance that they did see me without flood from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. Oh, love the Lord, all ye his saints, for the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart all ye that hope in the Lord. 
And that's the end. And until next time, bye.